Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. I have a 2024 Subaru Impreza RS, which is all new. And what I want to do today is to do a live stream discussion about this one and compare it to its competitors, which would be a Toyota Corolla hatchback and also a Honda Civic hatchback. All three of them are in a kind of similar price range, but with interesting differences that I'm going to share with you. So uh, stay with me as we go along here in the live stream format. I might make a mistake here and there, but I'm not gonna edit it so that you'll get a full um, a view of what I think of this vehicle and I'm going to tell you as much information as possible. A couple of things to keep in mind is that Subaru Corporation is actually um, partly owned by Toyota now and therefore they do many joint projects. To be specific, 20% of Subaru is owned by Toyota, but they do have a separate operation for manufacturing and engineering, uh, but more and more they're collaborating and sharing some of their technology and methods and processes. So I assume that some of Toyota thinking like a Toyota production system and Toyota way most likely migrated to Subaru. Either way, it's an interesting combination of a hatchback and a small car design, all mixed in. And Impreza, to be honest with you, is one of the sleeper cars. It's one of those vehicles you should consider if you want to buy something affordable and it's still reasonably fun to drive and also built in Japan and has a good quality. Uh, I think this is a hidden gem that people don't talk about and uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about why I think this is a truly good buy. But first, let me do my usual uh, engineer's audit to see how good this thing is. As I mentioned, this particular Impreza is now built in Japan, in Gunma factory in Japan. And I've been to that factory a number of times. And that's a change from before uh, because they used to be built in, in Indiana factory, which is the US operation for Subaru. But Subaru uh, moved the Impreza to Japan to uh, have more space in the production capacity for the US operation so that they can build more cross tracks and so forth, which is, which is a highly popular model here in North America. Coming back to the quality check here, um, I assume that you'll be really well built, mainly because it's built in the, uh, their head office a factory in Guma, which has a good reputation. And as you can tell, 3.7 millimeter, 3.5, very flush is in terms of the alignment, 3.7, 3.5, Three point seven and three point six, and what about the back? Always a little bit wider in the back due to design, so that's more like a five and a half millimeter. But uh, the general overall panel alignment, basically perfect. I don't see any kind of issues in terms of panel fit, and the way all the panels have come together, all the edges line up, the gaps looks really good, and the paint job as well looks very good. A little bit of orange peel maybe less than some of the Toyota models I've seen, and the basic quality of the paint is excellent. Maybe if I have to make one complaint, I wish they had a little bit more uh, gloss to it, a little bit thicker, um, maybe clear coat would have helped because paint uh, job tends to be a little bit thinner in the Subaru, especially in this kind of price range compared to some other uh, brands, especially those models from Europe. But either way, what do I think of the Impreza? First of all, in terms of exterior quality compared to Toyota Corolla hatchback, and also compared to Honda Civic. Well, in terms of the panel fit, panel alignment, and the basic fit and finish of the exterior panels, I think this one is one of the better ones in this price range because this is a very affordable, small, compact hatchback. And in terms of the overall panel fit, it is better than the Honda Civic I reviewed recently and about the same as the Corolla hatchback. That one is also built in Japan at the Tsutsumi factory. So the two are about the same, I would say. Uh, but in terms of design, I'm not sure what to say because I personally loved Impreza. I always liked it ever since I was uh, younger because Impreza was always the cool five-door hatchback and it had many different variations of it. And I always viewed it as sort of a, a poor man's um, affordable rally car. That's the way I looked at it when I was growing up. So I really liked Impreza, but I do admit the Corolla hatchback looks better. Not necessarily drive better, but the Corolla hatchback does have a more stylistic design. So design, I think, is better on the Corolla hatchback. What about compared to Civic? Well, Civic hatchback doesn't even look like a hatchback anymore. It's more looks like a, a sedan design. Um, but once again, the Civic hatchback, I think, is probably more appealing to general consumers. So that's a bit of a subjective thing, and only you can decide which one looks the best. So I'm inside the Impreza RS now. Um, and by the way, RS is the sportier variations of the uh, Impreza lineup. Uh, although there aren't that much difference between this model and all the other Impreza models, but I do like the kind of all blacked out uh, trim and the design inside. 
you can tell that uh, it's actually ergonomically a very well designed a vehicle and very up to date. I don't get a digital display here, just a little bit in the middle, but I get a full digital display for infotainment system. It's a vertical instead of horizontal. And you know what, it actually works because this part, which controls the, uh, the temperature and so forth, uh, stays lit. It doesn't disappear when you actually um, operate the rest of the infotainment system. And it's actually really fast, uh, super fast, very easy to maneuver and to manipulate and to manage. And I still like the fact that I get a volume control and tune, which is a physical button. And for temperature control, I also get a, a, an actual physical button, even the front defogger and the rear defroster some button as well. So I appreciate the fact that they incorporate as much of the button as possible for frequently used items and not everything is an infotainment system. In terms of the overall quality of the interior, you know what? It's actually really solid. I don't feel anything loose from doing my punch test. The quality of the plastic molding is excellent. If you look carefully, very well designed matte grain finish. And it doesn't look like a plastic. Even the steering has a really thick rim with the red uh, stitching. Uh, overall, the fit and finish looks great. What about compare this to the Corolla hatchback and the Civic uh, hatchback? Well, I would say the Corolla hatchback, because the design is a little bit outdated, doesn't look as modern and as tech oriented as this one. Uh, so definitely the Subaru Impreza has a better interior than the Corolla hatchback. I also like the um, a really big side bolster on these seats with red inserts. So at least in this RS format, the overall interior is uh, more appealing and I think a little bit better design than the Corolla hatchback. But compared to Civic hatchback, that's a harder one because Civic has probably the best interior design of any cars in that price range with a beautiful layout of switches and buttons and kind of the grid design in the front of the dash as well. So I would say the Civic actually still looks better than the Impreza in terms of first glance, but both are about the same in terms of quality of materials and fit and finish, and also in terms of the overall design. So that's a bit of a toss up. But given the choice, I would pick the Civic interior over any of these two models. So what about the engine itself? Well, this one has a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine, not turbocharged. And compared to its competitors, it's actually at the top of the game. It has maybe 10 to 20 horsepower compared to its closest competitors, including the Corolla Hatchback and Civic models. But having said that, it is not a very sporty engine by any means. The CVT transmission tend to hold back any kind of front to drive factor, um, but it is smooth, refined, and generally speaking, works really well with this particular setup. So if you are not in a rush to pass cars on the highway and so forth, this is more than sufficient. And I like the fact that Subaru focused on uh, just creating a very smooth feel to the engine. So what do I think of this engine compared to the two closest competitors, Corolla Hatchback and Civic Hatchback? Uh, I think I like this one better than the Corolla Hatchback, unless we're talking about the, um, the GR Corolla. That's a whole different animal. And obviously I'm not gonna compare that to this one. But compare this to the normal hatchback, I think this engine feels a little bit peppier. It does have a little bit more power and torque. And generally speaking, in city driving, it feels a little bit more fun to drive in terms of powertrain. Having said that, I do think that the Civic has a slightly more torquey feel when they drive the Civic hatchback. And uh, they are comparable in terms of power and torque, depending on which model of the Civic you're looking at. Uh, but I would say that I'm a little bit biased toward the Civic in terms of the overall feel on the road as well. What about the transmission? Well, they all use CVT transmissions, so more or less they function similarly. I did notice on this Impreza RS though, the, the way the CVT act, it's very refined and natural. It doesn't feel odd like the way CVT used to feel many years ago. So the calibration, the engineering, uh, and the design of the CVT transmission has really improved over the years. Uh, but having said all that, once again, I would say Civic is a little bit more fun to drive in terms of the way transmission functions. And also we don't have a manual transmission anymore on the Impreza lineup. So that's a bit of a sad news. Whereas you can still get a manual on the Civic in the form of SI and that's a beautiful, beautiful uh, vehicle. It is definitely more expensive than this one, but that's my uh, first choice if I were to buy a fun to drive small hatchback, mainly because it still offers manual transmission. Either way, this one is definitely better feeling than the Corolla hatchback, which just kind of feels plain because the Corolla hatchback is really nothing more than the hatchback version of the normal Corolla. And while it's very dependable and very forgiving and very predictable, it doesn't provide much fun to drive factor unless once again, you're willing to pay a lot more for the GR Corolla. 
So I hope that helps you a little bit in terms of understanding the powertrain. Uh, now let me take you for a quick drive and tell you more about the driving feel on the road in terms of what this Impreza RS offers compared to its competitors. So now I'm driving the Impreza RS and this is uh, something that I really want to point out because Subaru has figured out something that maybe Toyota hasn't figured out yet which is to have the right amount of steering feel coming from the road to my hand. So I always talk about this as one of my pet peeves in that uh, many automakers, including Toyota, just really don't know how to design the steering mechanism so that we still get a bit of a hydraulic power steering type of feel, something that is very difficult to do with the modern electric power steering. Uh, but just a few automakers have figured out how to do that correctly, including Honda, Porsche, and now I would say Subaru. Um, it is not like a Porsche steering, I'm not saying that, but compared to a Corolla hatchback or many other small cars, the Subaru has a good feedback. It's a little bit heavier, it has a little bit more of a weight, and it has some characteristics similar to the WRX I drove uh, several months ago. Uh, because it just have the right amount of communication, something that I really wished other manufacturers did a better job of. And from that regard, this particular Subaru Impreza RS definitely uh, is better than the Corolla hatchback, uh, not as good as a GR Corolla, of obviously that one has a really accurate steering, but compared to the normal Corolla hatchback, this one has better steering feel. Even compared to Civic, I would say it's comparable. Um, Civic has a little bit better accuracy and also a little bit faster steering feel, but the general feeling of the road being transmitted to my hand through the steering is something that I think Subaru has done a very good job of. I would say the only thing that maybe can be improved is the engine, not in terms of refinement and not in terms of how the engine performs in general, but obviously uh, the power and torque could be improved maybe in the future model because it just isn't quite sufficient for me when you're going up here or trying to pass a vehicle. So next time you want to buy a small car, don't forget the Subaru Impreza, especially in this RS format. For the price, I don't think there's anything better out there. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and maybe make some comments. And if you haven't done so yet, would you also kindly subscribe. Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.